Hello everyone, Nicky Hawkins here, here to give you a transfer roundup. But before we get into that, I just want to say we've partnered up with the people at Sky Sports uh, Fantasy Football and you've got a chance to take on the boss. I'll leave a link in the description down below. You can download the app, pick a team. We'll reveal ours on Thursday when Scott um, does his match preview for Chelsea and he'll reveal our team. But we'll put the link in the description down below. Go and download the app, pick a team, see if you can take on the boss from West Ham Fan TV. Join our mini league, uh, sign up, pick a team. It's all free, um, so it's uh, a good bit of fun to go over the, for the rest of the season. But yeah, do that. Uh, sign up to our Fantasy Football League and see if you can beat the boss. But I'm here today to give you some transfer news. Right, first of all, I'm just here to fill in for Ryan because he's away at work and obviously we've got a big bit of news to bring you. Arthur Maswaku has signed for West Ham United on a three-year deal, uh, £6 million from Olympiacos. I've been looking at it, obviously we're looking for a replacement for Cresswell. Um, I've been looking at some videos of him, never heard of him before, if I'm quite honest with you, but when I've looked at the videos, very comfortable left back uh, in attacking. The way we play, we like to attack. Very comfortable, comfortable on the ball, can dribble, bit pacey. I think you'll fit into West Ham very nicely. So £6 million, that's a done deal. Uh, signed, sealed, delivered, uh, posing with a shirt and all sorts. So yeah, that's a done deal. Next one, Andre Ayew, um, very close to being completed, £20 million. Obviously, we could have had him for free last summer. A lot of people have been whinging a little bit. Obviously, he's not the marquee signing that we've all been hoping for. But um, rumour has it, if we'd have signed him last year for free, we wouldn't have been able to afford Payet's wages. Now, if you look at it in hindsight, sign IU, no Payet. Payet, what will he have cost us this summer? Million. So, good bit of business from the ball. Good player. Uh, proven in the Premier League last year. Uh, scored quite a few goals for Swansea, especially at the start. Um, in the poor Swansea side, I think he'll fit in nicely. Uh, he's another winger, though. Do we need another winger? I'm not sure. Leave your comments in the comment section down below if you're happy with the signing of Andre Ayew. Now, the next one... Um, because of the left-back situation, we had David Santon down for a medical. Uh, obviously... Into Milan now, but formerly of Newcastle United. So he had some Premier League pedigree. Um, I'm quite glad he failed the medical. He didn't really impress me at uh, Newcastle. Obviously, he was just filling in uh, while Cresswell's away. Uh, now Masuaku's come in. Uh, I think Masuaku could be a player that could press Cresswell for his position. And I think that's where we should be looking. I mentioned that on post-match pint uh, a few episodes ago. Saying we should be signing players to push the current left-backs. I don't think David Santon would have done that, and I'm very happy with the left back we just signed, so he's failed a medical. Um, Carlos Becker, look, we talk about, Ryan talks about this man week in, week out. Now, it's all up in the air. What is going on? Nobody seems to know. It's, a deal's accepted, but the deal hasn't been accepted. He's coming to have talks, and then he apparently he's turned down talks, and then he was waiting for us to see if we got through Europe. We've done that, then he. Apparently, like rumours have it, he turned down wages. Now, rumour has it that West Ham have gone back with an improved offer for Carlos Backer. Um, there was obviously also rumours that it hinged on the Sacco deal, which fell through. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. But um, it just seems that we need to get this done and dusted. If we want Carlos Backer, now's the time. I don't. If we if we don't get him this time, I don't think he's coming to West Ham. So, apparently, an improved offer for him. Um, Put on the table, uh, it's down to him now whether he wants to accept it. Personally, I wouldn't have him at West Ham now. Um, he's, he's pissed balled about too much for my liking. It doesn't seem like he wants to come, but the ball have improved a bit. You know, it could be rumours, it could be true, who knows. But we'll see what happens with Carlos Backer. Diafra Sacco, on to Diafra Sacco. Uh, where do I start with this guy? Um, in for medical, West Brom apparently. Uh, he had a Snapchat on a day saying he hadn't gone for a medical. I don't really know what's gone on there, but whatever's gone on, it looks like the deal's collapsed. Obviously, West Brom did have a, a takeover bid uh, earlier on in the week. Maybe that had something to do with it, but no matter what's happening with Diafra Sacco, he needs to move clubs. He's, he's not obviously happy with West Ham. Or could he be putting his head down to try and regain his place in the squad, prove that he's, he's, he's turned over a new leaf? Who knows? But... I'd personally like to see the back of um, Diafra Sacco. Uh, Josh Cullen, who played in the Betway Cup yesterday against Juventus, uh, left today to go to Bradford on loan, got back to Bradford. He was there last season, of course. 
Now, I, I, do you know what? These loan deals that we do, obviously we lost Cresswell and we've loaned out Stephen Hendry. Now, whether they fancy Stephen Hendry or not, I don't know, but um, I'm not a fan of giving away players that could be useful in the season, you know, and Cullen played very, very well yesterday. He was very impressive yesterday against Juventus. Um, could have done a job for us this season, you know. We had many, many injuries. We've also got Lanzini out still, of course, but we've got Nordvelt, um, Nordveit, Noble, <sighs> You know, so many central midfielders. Maybe they're looking to just give him some experience. But I would have kept him just for experience, just in case we do get uh, more injuries this season. Um, that's it for the transfers this week. But uh, a couple of bits of news. I've got Betway Cup yesterday, 3-2 loss uh, against Juventus side. Uh, Juventus side that at times tore us to pieces. Uh, obviously, we're not back to full strength, well we're back to full strength but you're not going to see the best of the players in a, in a, in a friendly game, obviously Payet coming off the bench and uh, Collins and, and and looking very solid, uh, I don't know you can't really look too much into it but at least West Ham give a good account of themselves, it would have been a bit embarrassing to go into the new season with an absolute freshen at the new, at the new. Uh, it looked like it was going to be like that at 2-0 but obviously Andy Carroll was on fire you know, and, and I'm I'm pretty happy with him as a striking option going into the season, but you can't rely on his fitness. Uh, another bit of news um, from the Knees Up Mother Brown website I've been looking at today is the safe standing row. Now, pff, where do I start on this one? I remember years ago, Bobby Moore stand when I used to stand now. The club used to st send letters week in, week out about banning people with their standing, this and that, this and that. Obviously, there were standing sections there. They give up telling people to sit down. It is a safety measure. It's not obviously West Ham's rules. It is a Premier League rule that you have to sit down. Um, just they didn't enforce it that well at, in, in parts at, at Upton Park. Uh, obviously a new ground, new staff. They're trying to enforce it. God knows what's going to happen. But also just remember that there's other people around you. People may, may not been used to standing in the standing sections before um, obviously if you stand up in front of people they can't see the game personally I like standing I used to love standing in the Bobby Moore lower I sat in the Betway lower uh, last season so there wasn't so much of that but I love it because it gets the atmosphere going but just be wary of people sitting behind you that can't see the game we got into a row once in the Bobby Moore lower uh, I won't go too much into it but it, it turned a bit nasty so yeah just be aware that people have Paid money for their tickets too. Um, you know, just, just be aware of your surroundings. But that's it. Thank you very much for joining us on this edition of Ryan's Roundup with me, Nicky Hawkins. I know it's a stupid name. But as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to go and sign up to the Fantasy Football, Sky Sports Fantasy Football. We've created a league. The pin's in the description down below along with a link to go and download the app. Pick your team. See if you can take on the boss. One thing left to say. Come on, you irons.